Welcome back again to another wine review. I'm your Wisconsin wine guy, giving you a very, very simple wine review. I go through and select different wines from your local liquor store, grocery store, or some wine shop shelves. Now, the simple grading process is thumbs up. I highly recommend this wine. Give it a try. Three quarters. You know what? I could drink this, serve it at a party. I'll be all in. You know what? I may even keep a couple of bottles on hand for myself. Halfway. You know, not so much for me, but you give it a try, then let us all know what you think of it. Thumbs down. <laughs> That's always an easy one. Get that wine out of here. So now, on today's show, we're going to be doing a wine. We're going to be going to California. Let's see if we get this good in the light. The brand is going to be Charles Crew. Charles Crew. Family Reserve 2015 Generations. So this is going to be a blend. And on the back here, it says it's a blend based on Bordeaux. Now, I did some research. It was a Bordeaux-type blend. And it is predominant Cabernet, second Merlot, third Petit Verdot. For those who are more uh, Bordeaux drinkers out there, know that Bordeaux is split in two. We have right bank, left bank. I'm a right bank guy, meaning I'm all in for Merlot. Left bank is dominant Cabernet, while the right bank again is dominant Merlot. In this case, this uh, Bordeaux style blend is going to be mimicking the left bank being Cabernet Sauvignon dominant. So let's give it a pour here. Haley's Corker, always doing his job and keeping the wine fresh for me. I had a couple of those who uh, follow the show ask me about the Haley's Corker. You can find out more about that on Haley'sCorker.com. All right, so let's get out of swirl. I'll give you a look at that color here. Now, 2015, I mean, still maintaining its inkiness or its, its depth in color. Now, that nose, oh, that nose, I mean, it's very vibrant fruit. Fruit with a little bit of, like, like deepness to it. You know, plum, subtle hints of oak and spice. Oh, wow, looking forward to this. So dark berries all around, just swirling around my head. Let's give it a rinse. You know how I feel about rinsing, you know. And my red wine is just like white. I want it to be alive on my palate. Uh, acidity is there. 2015. Acidity isn't like, you know, powerful. But it's, it's still very much alive on the palate when you drink it. My mouth is watering it. I mean, I just love that feeling, especially with a red wine. Nice notes of cherry blended in with plum. Mm. Now for the taste. Now, I wanted to let this just hang around on my palate for a little bit. Wow, I just love the way my mouth waters. So 2015, Charles Crude, it just... It just goes and just floats throughout the palate, you know, giving you just many different variations of flavor, you know, a little spice again, you know, if there's the fruit coming through, the berries, the plum, you know, I, I want to say subtle, subtle, subtle hints, you know, of mocha, you know, and a little bit of that, that uh, barrel aged smoke. So 2015, Generations. Family Reserve, Charles Krug, and says here, uh, Napa Valley's oldest winery since 1861. Your Wisconsin wine guy is going to give this a thumbs up. How about a double thumbs up? So thumbs up for Charles Krug. I mean, you, five years old. You know, this is 2020, five years old. So it is a phenomenal wine. I enjoy it. I would drink it. You know what? I would even get a couple of bottles of this and lay it down and see if we can even go further. Push the envelope. So Wisconsin Wine Guy is saying, as always, let your palate be the guy with selecting your next wine. See you next time. Bye.